Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of how to make your own mod for Fortress Craft Evolved. So in the first episode we discussed the mod.xml okay and I had to re-record these episodes because people couldn't see the text so I made it absolutely bigger now so you can see the text hopefully uh, on the screen much better and um, if you can't do give comments back I do not have any idea why it uh, records in 360p okay I, I have no idea so don't, don't even ask because DJ helped me set this up it works I'm not touching it <laughs> okay so it could be something with my monitors it could be something that YouTube does but I do know that when DJ was helping me set all this up it took us a little bit of time to get it working because of my my PC it's old okay but we know the setup that we did it, it works okay it's just text is a little bit crappy as we found out so anyway here we go so this is um, a very very important line up here which is this version okay now if you don't know where to get this version from um, you can um, I'll see if I can copy it and add it to the information of the video but <coughs> line 1 and line 2 you can't see line 2 very well but you can see that it goes all the way over here okay if you don't have those two lines in your mod is not going to work okay I don't know what they do I know that they're important okay so you need lines 1 and 2 now this here lets um, the computer know that this is what you're going to be doing you're going to be entering an item now there's two files that you need to remember which is item and terrain now they're quite easy to understand items are what you use um, like a knife and a fork okay terrain is like rocks um, the other way to think of it is if you make an item you cannot put it down if you make a terrain you can put it down okay so if you make this rock coal here in the item you cannot put it down okay you can make it you can put it in a box you can put it in machines and stuff like that but you cannot put it on the ground if I did it in the terrain one then you can because I'm saying yes you've made it and now you can um, put it on the ground so we will be doing bits and pieces like that so you know we'll be getting on on to um, the terrain part later on so the key that we're doing here now this is um, not the name that you're going to see this is the name that you want it to be okay so you're making rock coal so we're taking basically quick description is rock to make coal okay so the name that people will see in the list will be called rock coal name and plural to me seem about the same thing I'm not too sure what the plural is okay that will be in your inventory that will be in your um, description that will be in your manufacturers recipes everything okay so that's what the rock coal is now the item stack basically it says what it is for itself it, it, it stacks okay it stacks now this next part yeah this is um, a, a tricky one okay now if I can't get it to work when I put it on a conveyor belt and there's quite a few that I couldn't get to work when I was programming this I do what DJ does in 
his code and put unknown item okay until an object is made that I know that can work one that I can get to work so every now and then I will go back over this code I will go and double check D DJ's code and I will go and see whether or not I can um, get the conveyor belt item to work now it's hit and miss at the moment for me on this so I just put unknown item okay you just get a block that's all you do just get a block you don't really need to have it um, working uh, any other way and you know it's it's the easy option okay I'm gonna say it's the easy option if you want to sit there and you say well I, I know what that object is that's gonna work on a conveyor belt then great you know it would be nice if someone actually did a, a list and say right okay if you go to this web page and you want to put coal ore on there and you want the object on the conveyor belt to be this that is what you need to use massive magic project for somebody if you do I'll give you shout outs don't worry about that you know so this is the the sprite now this is new this this is a new code of line that um, we never used to have in Broken Wasp mod and that sprite shows up in your inventory it shows up in um, your machines so if you put in here um, dead wasp to say and there's a sprite called dead wasp your rock coal will come up with a picture of a dead wasp because it's in the sprite table now we haven't got a picture of rock coal because DJ never knew people wanted to put their own sprites in I think that's coming okay not sure how it's going to be done but I think it's going to be coming I'm going to be checking on the modding section so if we could put our own sprites in that would be absolutely brilliant because if we could say look we've got rock coal there we want our icons looking similar to DJ's but we want our own we want to put our own in we don't want to have to keep bothering him yeah as long as you can put it in the right place you can install it in the right place and they can get it to work brilliant we can have our own icons and it will be practically wonderful so the next category we're going to be looking at this is an important part really to let people know where they're going to be looking for and of course it's a, a, a crafting ingredient okay now there's several categories I'm not going to go through them all because I don't want this um, teaching thing to go quite in depth I want you to know that that works okay so we are going to say that um, the crafting where, where we're going to put things to make things for items it's going to go into the uh, crafting ingredient category okay now scan requirements not required okay you don't need this section but I'm going to take a leaf out of uh, my friend's uh, programming guide and that is uh, Gaza Gaza hi you know who you are and he always says make sure you put in scan requirements but the simple fact is there could be two bits of rough hewn rock out there there could be old rough hewn rock there could be new rough hewn rock there could be rough hewn rock I hate you okay and if you don't scan the right one you're not going to get your um, correct item for when you go and manufacture it okay so I decided that we will do it this way for every object that we want you've got to go and scan something okay it's not going to be an easy mod it's not going to just say right okay if you do that there and you're going to get thousands and thousands of this it's not going to work so that is what the scan requirements is 
okay and so you've got to go and find rough hewn rock and you've got to go and scan it okay and then when you scanned it you can make rock coal okay yeah. and rock coal makes rock simple as that so the the last two lines item of entry and array of entry and this scan requirements they're all like I look at them as doors now if I click on the array of item you'll see two purple lines come up one at the top one at the bottom now what this means here is you can see one of the array of items yeah the blue text where it's flashing on line 2 yeah there's not a backslash like there is on line 15 I think of them as doors the top one without the slash is open the bottom one is closed if you click on something and we'll just delete this here right and you only get one purple line you know you haven't got a locked door if you don't have a locked door your text and your mod is not going to work okay so we're going to put that line back there okay same with item entry click on it make sure that everything in there is correct and how you want it okay if you look at the key you've got two purples you've got an open and you've got an closed if you're trying to debug it because it's not working that's the first thing I'll check open closed open closed that's open closed so is that 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 this over here this green one I'm going to highlight this this you'll see I'll highlight it in, in grey that information there does not affect the code that is for your information okay that just tells me when I'm programming something that that is what's going to be for that for that line of code so I know that is a conveyor belt item okay so if you need to say right okay add this or rebalance this then just put it in with uh, these two these this part here you need this part here okay and you need this little end part here okay what you put in the text it is up to you okay so that's how you introduce a new item into the into the game okay now when you save this right click on the tab because you're using control because you're using notepad plus plus don't use anything else click save as all the time and again you're going to have a little bit of difficulty here because of the size um, so we're just going to see if we can change to large icons extra large icons no large icons yeah so you can uh, can we can we um, uh, tiles can we can we go to uh, we'll, we'll go large icons so what you do is you click on your items and then you just click save now the most important thing down here is this line here okay and it must be extensible markup language file then you get all these long lines of code if you don't have that saved correctly um, it, it won't save it you'll soon, you'll soon pick that up so we click save says it already exists say yes and that is it and in the next episode what we'll be doing is we'll be showing you the manufacturing recipe list which is all of this so you can actually make the um, recipe and put it into your actual game have fun stay safe bye for now